Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. So this week I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about colic. Colic is something that we refer to a lot in horses. Basically what colic means is a belly ache. So just like how you can get a belly ache, um, our small animals can get a belly ache, the large animals can get a belly ache. Basically that's all that colic is. But when we're talking about colic, um, usually obviously we're talking about horses. It's something that's very common in horses and can be deadly. Um, it needs to be addressed quickly and efficiently to try and prevent it from getting worse. Number one, do not wait. If it's a colic, um, call immediately. It is an immediate um, important emergency and it needs to be seen right away. Don't wait a day or two because what happens is it gets much worse and there are times where we cannot fix it after a certain point. Colic can be caused by a lot of different things. Um, the most common around here are either sand colic or impaction colic. So sand colic is super common in our area. Obviously we live in the desert. We have a lot of sand. Most of our horses are on sand and not on, on a grassy pasture. So when they're eating, they like, you know, they're animals that graze. They graze off of the ground, that's normal for them. So even if you're feeding and feeders up high, um, they like to pull their food out and drop it on the ground. As you can see in this horse behind me, we have a big tub that um, we put the food in, which helps to prevent some of that food from dropping onto the ground and then him eating it off of the ground and ingesting um, some of that sand. But regardless, a lot of the horses will drop some of their feet on the ground and then after they're done eating their main meal, they'll nose around the ground trying to pick up every last little morsel. And during that, they'll eat some sand. Um, other horses, because we have a lot of salt in our ground, other horses like to lick the, the, the ground. They like to lick and eat some of that sand trying to get salt. So make sure that you have good salt blocks and mineral blocks with your horses to prevent some of that. Um, anyways, as they ingest the sand, the sand gets into the large intestine. It weighs it down and causes discomfort. It also irritates. Just think of having sandpaper. Most of you have felt sandpaper um, during some type, type of a project, and you know how irritating and rough that is. So just imagine having a piece of sandpaper inside your intestine, rubbing and irritating that intestine. Um, so sand colic is, is super important to prevent. It's something that's very easy to prevent by doing things like trying to put the feed in a tub so that they eat more of it in the tub and less of it on the ground, giving a salt or trace mineral block, as well as feeding psyllium. Psyllium is the main ingredient in products like Sand Clear or Sand X or even Metamucil. And you can feed this on a regular basis to help prevent the colic. Very important, every horse in our area should be on routine Sand Clear or psyllium. Um, the, the next second most common cause, uh, type of colic is impaction, where basically they're not drinking enough water, uh, maybe they're stressed out, maybe they exercised really hard or it got really hot or it got really cold or for whatever reason they get basically it's constipation and but it's pretty severe. Um, the, the food material, the ingesta gets blocked in the intestine and um, it's all dried out, it forms a mucus plug and horses can die from that. So that's one of the things that if it's caught early, very easy to prevent or very easy to cure. We just tube the animal with some mineral oil and water, maybe some Epsom salts, and we get things moving again. Main thing is you wanna catch it right away. You don't wanna let it go. And then there are lots of other reasons for colics that are more dangerous, and unfortunately some of them can't be cured. Um, without surgery. So the main thing is with colic, always call the vet immediately. Um, better to be safe than sorry, even if it's just like a little gas colic that maybe they just need to be exercised and get the gas out. As long as we're checking and making sure it's nothing worse, then we're always um, on the right side. Okay? So if you have any questions about your pet or your horse or any problems with colic, please let us know. If you want to know how to prevent some of those issues, give us a call. Have us come out. We'll um, look at your surrounding and, and give you some advice. Have a great week. Bye-bye.